Hello everyone. As we saw with the full video on how a dull, low grit, solid bowling ball changes in one game, which you can check on the top right of your screen or in the description below, here we have the same test, a bit quicker, for a pearl ball. A few scans first, so you can see the average grid that we start from. This ball should be between 2000 and 2500, somewhere around there. Some places of course are going to be lower or higher, but the average is going to be somewhere in there. Okay, first scan 1700, okay. Now we're going to scan pretty much perpendicularly to that. And here we have 2000, great. Of course, as I did with the other test, uh, I am also scanning the track area in two areas, two places, one close to the finger holes and one further away. This one is close to the finger holes. Twenty two hundred. Okay, we're within our the range that uh, I thought we were gonna be. And final scan around twenty four hundred. Okay, so we were we have a ball that is uh, dull for a pearl ball, and we're gonna throw it. 11 times to simulate the game and I'm not going to bore you with the shots I'm going to fast forward them and we can watch the results right after let's go and we're done so let's see what we got of course I'm scanning in exactly the same positions as before using the ball so this is with uh, fingers up we had 1700 before and now 3128 that's a pretty hefty change and now the second scan which was 2000 before this is uh, 2700 okay first scan of the track area it was 2200 before and now it is 3400 and apparently here I forgot to scan the track area a second time but uh, no matter it's, uh, it's almost sure that it's going to be a uh, more of the same so there you have it we have a ball that uh, was around uh, 2000 and within a pearl ball that was around 2000 uh, and within one game it went uh, around 3000 plus so it was slightly uh, less shining uh, than the solid ball that we saw in the other video but also that other ball started from around 1500 grit. One thing to keep in mind is that uh, I don't know if this result is characteristic, is representative of all modern pearl bowling balls because this is a rather old pearl ball. It's a Columbia Messenger TI which uh, came out uh, uh, more than uh, ten, uh, 15 years ago so uh, maybe the cover stock is a little bit rougher uh, a little bit uh, more dense I don't know uh, I am going to repeat these tests anyway so keep an eye out for when I check a modern pearl bowling ball uh, and how it changes in the lane surface
within one game and we can compare then. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and if you want to donate with the links in the description. And see you on the next one. Have a good day.